This is a Glow Brand instructional video for commissioning a C95 140 combi unit and a B85 120 and 160 boiler unit. The tools you are going to need to complete this are an adjustable wrench, a small flathead screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, a two millimeter Allen key, a 3 8 hose and bucket and the meters you're going to require are a digital manometer, a voltmeter, also a combustion gas leak detector and a combustion gas analyzer. Let's open up the unit and take a look inside. For this example we're using a C95 combi unit. Firstly, you're going to make sure to verify that the unit installed matches your work order and make sure that the venting complies with the installation manual and local codes and that your unit reaches the minimum 24 inch clearance uh, from the appliance in the front uh, for service. The next thing you're going to do is check for the proper voltage and polarity either at the plug or your direct line uh, wired directly to your boiler or combi unit. The next thing you want to check for uh, is your gas pressure. So we're going to take our digital manometer, put it on our gas in port on the lower left of the gas valve uh, and ensure that we have a minimum 3.5 uh, to uh, 7 inches water column for our inlet gas pressure. We want to maintain about 7 inches. Then you will take your combustible gas leak detector to make sure you have no leaks. We also want to check and ensure that our pressure relief valve is installed properly and operating properly, uh, installed with the provided J-fitting. We also ensure that the drain tube and condensate hose are properly installed to the unit. Check that the condensate trap has been primed and is not obstructed in any way. The next thing we're going to do is bleed the air from the heating loop. You're going to take your 3 8 hose uh, put it on the manual bleed valve on the upper left of the main heat exchange, turn it counterclockwise until it opens, um, and allow the auto feed valve, if you have one installed, to force water through the unit and out the auto bleed valve, um, or open the manual uh, fill valve underneath the unit uh, to allow your water to flow through the unit until all the air has escaped. This process could take up to 30 minutes, uh, so please take your time and ensure that all the air has left the unit. The next thing we're going to do is use our combustion gas analyzer in the flue test port to ensure the unit is firing at the optimal uh, 9.4 nominal CO2 percentage. To do this, we need to run the unit on high fire, and we could do this in two ways. First, uh, by turning on a, a bunch of taps or a tub with a large flow to bring the unit up to high fire speed. Or within the parameters, uh, we can go into our test mode and parameter 0 to 0, 0 after ent entering the installer code and set the unit into high fire. Once your unit is firing at this rate and your combustion gas analyzer is reading your CO2, you can use the two millimeter adjustment port on the left side of your gas valve between the gas in and the gas outlet uh, to adjust these figures. Insert your Allen key uh, to lower your combustion number, uh, rotate your Allen key clockwise to increase your number of CO2, uh, rotate your Allen key counterclockwise. Do this in small intervals as it takes a few seconds for uh, the meter to read the adjustment. Once all of this has been complete, uh, please see your user manual guide for setting all your parameters uh, to the appro appropriate settings based on your installation type and your unit is ready to go.